Hey, welcome to 31 Days of Horror Fonts. I'm Nick from Remedy667.com, and today is day 20, and the word is shrunken head. Alright, so we're just gonna jump right into it. This one has two, because apparently it's so large, I couldn't fit it all on one, and it's actually kind of fun to... Uh, be back again with sound because the last couple days I kept forgetting to turn the microphone on because I got a new microphone because before I didn't have a microphone and now there's all sorts of new microphone things I have to do like not draw one of these and talk to myself the whole time without recording it but you know what that happens and it's actually kind of good that it happens because I think they look kind of cool. And some people may not want to listen to me jaw on for 10 minutes. So basically what just happened there was I did my Curse of Dracula and my Vector First Aid that I always do. Fixing all this. What did we say the word was? Shrunken head? get into it and we're gonna do this the quick and dirty way Ooh. B, one of my favorites because it's so easy. It's not that one. I like this drippy better. Oh my gosh, another N? Let's see. For that one, let's see. Let's do a slightly different. This is there. And another A. Thing. We got another E ready to go right there. No need. Red dough. Oh my gosh, a D? Let's see, I think this one might look good as a D. Alright. And now let's just tighten these up. And that's the easy part. Because when you actually get into the nitty gritty of making the typeface, that's when all this stuff actually gets a little more, a lot more complicated. <laughs> Because you got to program it all to actually work together. Too heavy for what I want. Oh my gosh, I ran so many of these in together. Terrible, terrible work. I apologize. That's just gonna make the world even crazier. I was uh, actually tracing out some more of these last night and um, I, I did this with like two of them but I noticed it in the drawing phase and was just like oh that's going to be hard to deal with when I get to that one because I pre-draw all these shapes out in advance in case you didn't know I am just broke the magic for you but um yeah, I draw out all these shapes and then go from there. 
and that's the way that I'm doing it this year. I don't always do it like that. I don't always do fonts like that. There's a bunch of different ways. And I'm actually always looking for new ways to do typefaces. I'm always like taking classes and trying to learn from other people, watching videos like this on YouTube and anything but talking to people. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab that E exactly like it is. Command G. Up this N in there, maybe give it a little bit of a rotate. Start to build this H. And now a little bit. This A is ridiculously awesome. It's so drippy. together and the other one's just very close oops I didn't move that e. that's weird bring that in a little bit So we're going to copy this. This kind of looks like Frankenstein or something from the fog. If you're familiar with my Frankenstein font. This reminds me of that. Alright. because that was kind of an accident. Bring that in. Drop it just a little bit. And there you have it. Shrunken head. Day 20. Like and subscribe if you like these videos. Uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram page and vote for your favorite prompt or post at the end of the month. The post with the most likes is going to get made into a typeface, which will be available at Remedy667.com. Uh, thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you tomorrow, either on Instagram or YouTube or somewhere.